So uh, starting off at the top right, we got our blue Terran player from the team of Good Game Gaming. He is Korea's own dream. All right, at the seven o'clock location of Hardwire, we have Dragon Phoenix Gaming's hero. There's high APM. It's not necessary. All you have to be is as efficient and effective as possible. It's currently on tear, three uh, sweeping through, looking to sweep uh, Dream as well. So instead of going for the anti Reaper wall off SimCity, he opts for just um, planting the pylon between the two gases. And he's actually going for a double gas. Okay, already he's throwing a glitter, Snoopy. <laughs> And there's the eBay block coming down from Dream, so it's okay for Protoss because he, uh, he opted for a double gas opening. Uh, it's just only a matter of what follow-up he would do. Um, it could be proxy Robo, it could be proxy uh, Stargate, but you should uh, remember that due to the recent patch, the shield batteries have been nerfed. When they're not in vicinity of the Nexus, their starting energies have uh, dwindled to 50 instead of 100. So that's going to play a factor in it. I think regardless of it, I think Hero is going to do some type of a proxy in my opinion. Or he might even go for a very sneaky um, DT. But Dream already scouted and saw the presence of Double Gas. So, um, I don't think um, any of the DT related shenanigans would work and there's the Stargate. Rather than proxying, just going uh, building it at the main, we shall see uh, what his follow-up would be. From here on, yeah, you could go to Oracles, but not too ideal in my opinion. You could go Void Rays, but then you would rather want to proxy it. Or you can, uh, he can even go uh, Tempest from here, using that uh, early double guess. Yeah, it seems like uh, Hero is definitely going to have to go with the tech route as his, his uh, natural still blocked by the engineering bay. Looks like uh, going to take the dirt instead. Dream does scout this. So he knows that uh, the natural is at the what would be the natural dirt space there. In the meantime, uh, got to play a bit defensively because, he, again, he knows that Hero was uh, mainly working off of one base for the most part will smartly build his CC at the high ground. Yeah. And, you know, you, you, you can't afford to um, go for that uh, low ground. And also, um, the reason, I think I can understand now the reason why Hero went for um, the Phoenix first after going uh, double start, I mean, double gas, is that so usually if, if you go for the uh, quick second nexus at your third location because of the eBay block. The most um, lethal play coming out from the Terran is actually the Hellion drops. You can't, you can't, like, you have, the Protoss has to spread out so thin to actually uh, make a clean defense. So it is very vulnerable to the um, Hellion drop. So that's why he was actually anticipating for um, the potential production of Hellions. So he went with the um, Phoenix first. But instead, Dream just going for Marine Tank Viking right now. And I think um, Hero's next follow-up would be Charge Lot base. So it will be Phoenix Charge Lot and then potentially adding uh, Archons in the mix to soak up the tank shots. So economy-wise, obviously uh, Protoss is not in a great uh, shape because of that late Nexus. But at least uh, was able to be a bit more safe rather than taking the uh, second Nexus at its original timing because of that potential uh, threat coming out from the Hellion drop. And I think Hero should be uh, perfectly okay with this. All he has to do is just clear out the eBay soon with the Zealots and then um, plant the third Nexus. 
It looks like Hero might not even look for their Nexus because he's throwing down an awfully a lot a lot large amount of gateways. Uh, do you, you think... jinxed this, Snoopy? <laughs> do you, do you think... Look at the look oh. at the pocket at the five o'clock position. Right, right, right. Okay, it looks mm -hmm. like uh, yeah, he's just gonna absolutely not take that natural there with the eBay block. I guess uh, if it's... Hero wins this series, I will ask. Did you intentionally let that eBay sit there so that Terran can't get extra uh, 93 minerals? <laughs> you know what? Actually, it might be the mind game because he might be tricking Dream into thinking Hero's going for a two base all in or something. Absolutely. Because right now he does not scout that third Nexus. So he's like, no. why? Why is that eBay still not destroyed? Is, he going, oh, is Hero going oh. for something like a big, a huge attack? He's going to. Force a dream to play awfully defensively while hero he's gonna go ahead and just macro up and nice pickoff coming off from hero it's like what seven marines like essentially for free like in exchange of phoenix energy like you take that trade any day any night because if you can shave off that many marines and even more what happens is that the overall um Firepower of the Terran army will be significantly diminished. Okay, he loses uh, two Phoenix, but in you know, in exchange of eleven Marines and two Vikings, completely worth it. But I think he should uh, start thinking about uh, adding Templar archives. But he's only only working on working with two gases. And he's adding a, a proxy gateway as well. So I think he's just gonna. Go pure um, Phoenix charge slots. Uh, we'll see. But based on the number of Marines that he uh, got rid of, it, it's it's completely viable in my opinion. He just needs to hit the timing before the ghosts actually uh, come out. It looks like Hero's starting to get uh, more gases here on his uh, third base, and I had to. Uh mind to get those uh, upgrades rolling uh, but in the meantime he's going to invest go. a lot of these uh, minerals into these charge lot going to go ahead and get on top of these marines and that does it hero going to go ahead and take game number one he's our blue terran playing for good game gaming looking to tie up the series and halt this momentum of hero can he do it, it is dream all right at the 11 o'clock position of Berlin Grad, we have Dragon Phoenix Gaming's Hero. Not going for that uh, double gas opener this time. And to be honest, Snoopy, if Hero takes this map, I can see another sweep. Yeah, I, I could definitely see it as well. Uh, wait, what, what was the dirt map you remember? 2K. Okay, yeah, 2K. So it's 2K followed by Pride and Glittering. Okay, so if it's 2k, then yeah, I, I I mean, the way that Hero has been executing these Stargate plays, uh, you know, Stargate play uh, pretty good in 2k, so... I could, yeah, I could definitely see him getting another 3-0. If he gets another 3-0, then... Oof, he is gonna... He's gonna start running away with this, uh, Brawlers Club. Didn't he have two, two sweeps last week? In Brawlers Club 28, we didn't, we weren't able to cast any of Heroes games the last time we were here, because we were stuck with all these TVZs and TVTs. Well, we 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 got the um, pleasure of watching Dark just stomping the Terrans, but I believe <laughs> Dark got swept by Hero in his final series. Yeah, I don't actually in recall. Brawlers Club uh, 28, because I believe Hero lost to Pion, and that was. And then that was, I think, one to three. And then he won three zero against any, every other opponent, uh, Dark and Gumio. All uh, right. Unless, unless my recollection is erroneous. There's so much. There's so much Starcraft these days. I'm like, I, I can't recall everything. <laughs> well, that's why. That's why the relief feature is here. Don't you worry, Snoopy. <laughs> yep. Oh, needs to save the dead, but no. Okay, two Marines for Probe and Adept. Not gonna say it's completely worth it for uh, Protoss. You, 
had he preserved the adept, then absolutely. But so dream going for three racks and okay. So usually when you go Stargate first, if you go Oracle, then the Protoss still can salvage the situation. If you um, go Phoenix first, then it's almost lights out. It's like two to eight, three to seven. Not just my words, words from the top tier uh, Protoss pro players. So. Don't think like, oh, he's just making uh, things up. You know? When I say it, it's probably a common denominator of my opinion, plus what the uh, experts think. So he's gonna sculpt the three Rex. He's gonna get, he may even go up to a uh, triple Oracle. But usually like short rush distance maps like Berlingrad or Curious Mice, it's actually very difficult to go triple oracle because sometimes you will need the additional gas to get faster blink or charge but hero um, getting the triple oracle probably going to start uh, installing multiple uh, basis wars after the initial harassment to hit, impair the uh, move up from the Terran and then by time that way he would be able to Produce enough uh, ground units along with the support from the oracles to contest the three rex army coming up from the Terran, and then go for a potential uh, counter attack depending on how how cleanly he uh, gobbles up the Terran army. All right, looks like uh, Dream's gonna go ahead and start knocking at the front door. These uh, shield batteries are just gonna barely. Get up, one stopper going down, two, Oracle, oh, <laughs> Oracle, wow, Oracle survives, <laughs> nice, oh nice my. defense coming off from uh, Hero, oh, but he needs to be careful, he, ca he can't afford to lose uh, a lot of stalkers, he already lost two right now, three more warping in, he hasn't even started a uh, blink yet, oh, there we go, as soon as he hit 156 gas, he immediately starts, oh, nice clutch save on the Oracle there. You need you need those oracles alive so that you can plant those uh, stasis word words as much as uh, possible, as yeah. many stasis words as possible, and then you 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 want to um, go up to eight gates, seven to eight gates ASAP. But at the same time, you can't e afford to not utilize the um, cooldowns from your warp gates. Because if you if you do, then the chances of the pro, I mean the Terran overwhelming you uh, with the sheer superior army size would be pretty common. So that's why um, Hero trying to use as many um, warpins as possible. Once again, here three more stalkers. And instead of uh, opening up multiple uh, gateways, he's just trying to crank out as many stalkers as possible to contest the uh, three Rex army from Drink. Yeah, Hero's doing a really great job. I mean, he's has dwindled so much of the Marine count here in the early game. Uh, he's going to have Blink very soon. He's got all three Oracles saved. He saved all three Oracles, which means they're going to have plenty of energy for those Stasis Traps. Uh, and also Revelation. And maybe even, you know, Poster being on some of the reinforcements. And, uh, oh my Did goodness. Did you get the kill? <laughs> no. He's like going to the main but this could actually backfire because because of the uh, presence of the uh, medibacks but hero getting on top of those marauders very nice you want to get rid of uh, as many marauders as possible when you're uh, utilizing wing stalkers nice pick off here and there the oracle finally goes down and he's gonna lose all the blink stalkers okay in the end the trade was not favorable for uh, hero it looked like he was picking off Marauders at the right side, and he was picking off some uh, Marines at the left side, but he had to sacrifice uh, so many Oracles and Link Stalkers for it, so it's not worth it. Right now, 7th and 8th gate on the way, charge about 3 quarters done, but he doesn't have additional things. He's just gonna go 10 gate, I think. Yeah, it's 10 gates. He's just gonna go 10 gate uh, Zealot Stalker, I suppose. <laughs> Uh, is this oh, PVC, man. Snoopy? <laughs> well, looks like it. I mean, 
I mean, he's going to transition uh, soon because he 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 got fifth and sixth of simulators. So yeah, there's yeah. no way he's gonna like get stuck in just sell a uh, stalker. I think uh, the but idea the idea that he he knows that there was gonna be a counterattack soon because of all all the stalkers he lost earlier on, and so now he's just gonna commit to this uh, gateway type of uh, army composition. He's gonna try to use quantity over quality uh, to over uh, to push back a dream here. Yeah, I think he's just waiting until he hits. He should wait until he hits a plus one uh, attack. Great. Now just complete it. He mean immediately converging onto the. Uh, he should converge onto the tank, but he lost so many zealots and uh, stalkers uh, because of it. Furthermore, um, his unit sustainability weren't that high because the shield battery that had the battery overcharge was uh, unpowered. At the same time, he picked up six X SCVs at the third of our dream, but you can see um, the worker count only um, the differential is three, and yeah, Protoss is warping in like two, three, like every uh, sequence, which is not ideal, and you know the parent is going to trade much more favorably due to the uh, presence of the medevacs. So the actual sustainability is in um, Terrence's favor when battery overcharge is not uh, present. And once again, just lack of uh, AOE coming out from Hero. He just warped in uh, sentries, warping in more zealots, but there's no Templar Archives. He has almost 1k gas sitting in his bank, but he has nowhere to expend them. Yeah, there is no Templar archive or or anything of that sort. Uh, he's you know relegated to only making uh, immortals now, um, and I think the writing's on the wall. I mean, right now Dream having a massive 151 of overall supply, the 115 right now, and here we go. Liberators even added in, and there's just really nothing, no answer for Hero. He is trying to go, going to go ahead and try to attempt a a warping into the main base. Uh, but the real fight here is at the third base of the Protoss. Yeah, once the Liberators uh, arrive, it's pretty much nail in the coffin for the Protoss. Because you can't, you can't converge on top of the uh, Liberators to snipe them with the Blink Stalkers when there are that many uh, bio units, as well as uh, four Widow Mines present. Yeah. Parents just gonna trade effectively for eons from this point and there's nothing Protoss can do about it. It's not like Protoss uh, started a fourth base a while ago. It's not like Protoss has like Colossus or Templars. So it's just gonna be a slow demise from here on as the Liberator count increases and more units marching uh, composed of Marine Marauders as well as uh, Widow Mines. So not only just nail in the coffin, the door closed, sealed, reinforced for um, Hero. Yeah, uh, we should expect a GG pretty soon here from Hero. He is going to try to fight his uh, heart out for this uh, last stand, but <laughs> even the Observer going down, so there's no detection here for these Observer, or sorry, not the other, uh, these Widow Mines. And, uh, Liberators are going to sit very, very happily at the backside as these Marauders will go ahead and clean up the rest of these Stalkers. And uh, Dream, it looks like, will go ahead and draw the first loss for Hero here. Oh! That just reminded me of stats. <laughs> Poor stats. 22 probes have fallen. And yeah, Hero was able to uh, dish out good economic damage on to uh, Dream, killing off um, about 11 workers, I think, 15, 11 to 15 workers. And you no, know, the worker count is equal at 40, but that means it's just um, better for the Terran due to the presence of mules. And Hero can't even uh, save the third Nexus right now. And once this third Nexus is gone, it's three base Terran versus a uh, two base Protoss. We know what happens when that ha uh, when that dynamic is uh, achieved, Snoopy. Three base cannon versus two base proto. Yep. 
Look at this. 13 and a half minute Templar archives. <laughs> oh, not what you see. Zero is day. sitting on 1772 gas. Soon to be 1800. Yeah, he's just he's just desperately trying to have some way to use up those gas. Gonna go ahead and warp in a bunch of high Templars. I would imagine he's gonna warp them into yeah, he's gonna morph them into Archons. He doesn't have the time to research um, Storm here, so and a hallucinated disruptor. <laughs> when do we see this, uh, Snoopy? <laughs> Never. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we see hallucinated like stalkers in PvP, you know, hallucinated immortals in PvP or PvT, even in PvZ. Obviously, we see like hallucinated Colossus as a, a mistake for a hallucinated Phoenix, but hallucinated disruptor is something else. Right? Good force fields, but immediately EMP. High, temp high Templar done. All the sentries, but one done. One High Templar uh, has five energy, thanks to the EMP. Yep. GG. Dream takes uh, game two and even out the score. Yeah, I mean, that was, yeah, that was pretty much the beginning of the end, to be honest. Yeah, like you said. It started off looking really great, though. I mean, I love the idea. I mean, he had the... You know, there was like half of uh, Dream's army was on the low ground. You know, Hero blinked up, was able to fight the, you know, the other half. So, you know, ideally that was that was a good start. However, he stuck, he stuck around a bit too long. And he also, I think he should have blinked a little bit more. Or he should have at least walked more to the right side. Away from the... Uh, the the Terran medevacs the other half of the army I could see I, I understand why he stuck around there because he wanted to snipe the medevacs but I, I think he should have just like go go towards the right you know just blink one more to the uh, also to another right to maybe get into the mineral line and then just recall out or something he just lost way too much stalkers to the rest mm -hmm. of a uh, of a uh, dreams army there yeah and dream going for proxy this game. And Hero is going for a non scout build with the uh, anti Reaper wall off. We'll see. Yeah, he's just check. He's probably gonna check only his uh, natural. Nexus. Yep, Nexus goes down. Making a Zealot. So at least that's a saving grace, but. Oh, he doesn't see the bunker too. Sag. Now the good thing for him is that he preemptively made the, the zealot, so that will yeah uh, because be... he went for a uh, no scout field, so he's just taking the safe approach. So mm -hmm. you know, ni nice anticipation uh, from hero, in my opinion. I think he he knew there was going to be a potential possibility of a uh, proxy play coming out from uh, dream, because 2k is one of the maps that Terrence actually like to proxy a pretty good amount of times. And now immediately Stalker is out, and that bunker is not going up. So, yep. proxy play essentially uh, shut down. All hero has to do is just be careful of the uh, Reaper's multi prong attack. So, like one Reaper can uh, create diversion, and the other can actually uh, go in and you know get some probe damage, which would be pretty bad for Poros in the early phase, losing like two to three uh, probes. Some of the pro players, they say the game's essentially over if they lose two or more probes to the Terran's uh, initial <laughs> Reaper or Reapers. So he's going for three Reaper. Yeah, three Reaper, two Hellion. No, he's just sticking with uh, one Hellion and then going for the command center at the natural. So this building on site just to make sure he can uh, catch up uh, ASAP. Let's see if he were... If he were to uh, build it on a high ground, then it takes time to uh, float over, land, and then transform into the orbital. So he wants to uh, maximize that as much as possible. And two stalkers versus three reapers and a hellion. There's the third stalker. Nice, nice timing there. They traded a uh, reaper for a stalker, as well as um, losing two probes. So once again, another uh, favorable trade coming for um, Dream and now it's gonna be 3-gate Robo with Link 
Let's see whether he's gonna add the uh, fourth and actually go aggressive as a four gate um, blink stalker play. Oh, there's an opening here actually. Yeah. Below the gateway. Yeah, so not not the perfect wall off there. No. I mean, uh, some players like, for instance, depending on maps, but. For instance, like on Glittering Ashes, like Classic doesn't do a full wall off, and he just uh, hold positions one Zella to make it a full wall. So maybe Hero just trying to put um, a Stalker there, or even like Zella or Adept there, to make it as a, a full wall, instead of using all the buildings as a full wall. Or maybe he wants to uh, use the pylons to also warp in at the low ground. Oh yeah. Or it could just be purely a mistake. And I'm just trying to, <laughs> I'm just trying to uh, cover his, <laughs> cover his, you know what up. Well, observer trying to um, gain vision on the right side of the map for the potential um, drop play, such as uh, mind draws or even the double medivac drop uh, at the later stage of the game, maybe like. A minute and a half to two minutes from now on. Just sticking with a uh, three gate, three gate uh, blink. Um, trying to establish his third, and I'm probably gonna go uh, Colossus first. Just a uh, very safe approach. Now the only drawback is that you have to split up. Uh, actually, he's going disruptor first. Okay, so he's probably uh, thinking that Dream could move up pretty soon. And instead of you no know, have uh, spending resources on the expensive uh, Colossus, and also you have to get the range upgrade, the extended thermal lens, in order to effectively use the Colossus, he's actually going for a uh, disruptor first. Yeah, I, I'm wondering if this is one of the cases where uh, the Protoss like opened up with like one or two disruptors, just to be safe, and then just like transition into Colossus afterwards. But it doesn't look like he is researching uh, thermal lancers or anything like that so maybe not okay yeah it's a dirt uh disruptor so it look, look, looks like mainly blink stalkers uh and disruptors for the time being Ooh, nice oh. nice catch there but uh loses the disruptors mm, not ideal but at least a uh, good catch so usually you want to build more than a couple of disruptors is because you know at this level if you have like only a couple of disruptors like shooting sequentially, these players are more than capable of dodging all those uh, purification novas. It's when you have like, you know, from like four to five disruptors, that's really when uh, you can make uh, the Terran players struggle. But right now he lost one, so he's, oh, he only has uh, and he lo he lost too many. <laughs> Too many bio units to that uh, three disruptor shots in total. All right, spawning here at the bottom right, we got our blue Terran player looking for a bit of cheeky play, it seems, maybe? It is. Good Games Gaming's dream. All right, at the 11 o'clock position of Pride of Altars, we have Dragon Phoenix Gaming's hero. Going for that uh, anti Reaper wall off. So, should be, technically, should be safe against uh, the Proxy Rex if it were to be Reapers. If it were to be Marauders, eh, a little bit more complex, but he only had uh, one SCB out, and this map is pretty far between the um, bases of each player's. So it's actually hard to do some kind of uh, like a two racks uh, early Marauder plus Marine push with only um, proxying one rack. Although it will be very interesting if he's going to proxy additional bases, I mean additional buildings. But no, just sticking only with the racks. Yeah, that I mean, there could have been a potential that he could have uh, built a factory and starport just, you know, make a. Make a proxy mini base there, but no. And Hero actually opted for um, double gas play once again. 
Yeah, seems like it's a kind of maybe go to build of sorts. I say Stargate. <laughs> oh, 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 well, well, Dream block. Yeah, I think he's, yeah, he's gonna block it. Uh. Wow. <laughs> Nice play coming off from the all. Oh, this is so bad for Hero. He, he even went for the anti Reaper uh, wall off, and then that is so bad. All right, there's the Stargate as mentioned. Oh my god, three probes down. If fourth one goes down, I, I won't be surprised if Hero actually leaves the game. <laughs> like, had the Zealot like not leave the base and then like just stood there. There was no way that SCV could have blocked that uh, pathway, but the Zealot went, went for the uh, Terran's base, and the downtime between the production of a Zealot and the production of a uh, Adept, Dream utilized that timing really well, and then was able to pick up three probes. Right yeah, now, it made the Euro. whole like anti reaper wall just like completely useless. I mean, it's like. Like you're trying to change your lock for security purposes, but leaving the door completely open. It's like, <laughs> it's like changing the locks didn't do anything. Uh, but hey, look at this. Hero taking lemons and turning it into lemonade is going to throw down a nexus at the gold base. It's like, you know what? If uh, you're going to do something cheeky, I'm going to do something cheeky as well. I'm going to go ahead and put on some pressure while I take this gold base here. But in the meantime, two Reapers and the Hellion making his way in to the main base. Yeah, but there's the Oracle. Oracle, hello? Oh my god, Oracle's AI being worse than Dragoons right now. <laughs> there we go. Do you see, like, him, like, starting? You just go, uh, 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 uh. I know. Like, he's, I he's making a fake, like, a fake move, you know? Like, he's playing basketball. I but nice pullback from Hero as well. I don't uh, think from uh, the cycle. I don't think he, when Hero was talking about m mechanics earlier on, I don't think he was talking about that that type of mechanics. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, what? He just started a uh, work a research. Okay, that's a that's a big blunder. But you know what? I think I think Hero can still get away with it using a uh, triple oracle, and he's also making a phoenix right now. Probably to counter uh, either Viking or and or to um, lift up potential uh, tanks or cyclones, because obviously uh, you can negate the cyclones uh, lock on using uh, Phoenix's uh, lift skill. But yeah, that's a that's a huge blunder, the the lack of our uh, warp gate because he could have warped in like at least a round of three gates. Three gateway units. Mm -hmm. yep. The gateway's just chilling. You know, speaking of Oracle AIs, I actually asked uh, both Trap and uh, Hero uh, previously how I can, uh, how can a boomer like myself improve <laughs> Oracle Micro? Boomer. You know what they said? Yeah, I'm a boomer. I'm a mid thirties boomer. <laughs> what What did they say? You just have to pray to the god uh, every day. Oh. Because some days, some days the oracle will work according to your um, orders. Some days they'll just completely uh, drift apart and do their own things and then get killed. <laughs> All right, there you have it, folks. All you need to do is RNG. get better. It's just a pray. Uh, no need to practice or anything. Just, just pray, and all, all things will work out. Pray to the god of RNG, I suppose. <laughs> Look at this, he, he he actually made three Zealots from the gateways because he didn't have warp gate. <laughs> what is this madness? <laughs> Alright, so he's gonna go for a Phoenix charge left follow up. He's even getting plus one uh, armor first. So there are times where it's almost exclusive for hero. Like I haven't seen like that many other Protosses do this. But when he's going uh, like charge lot heavy, like along with Phoenix, he actually gets plus one uh, armor first for the sustainability. Now, the debate has always been that is plus one weapon better or plus one uh, armor better? In my opinion, I think if you're going for Colossus, then absolutely the plus one weapon is better. 
But if you're going like this gateway uh, heavy and particularly a charge slot heavy along with a uh, phoenix then I think uh, armor first is actually completely uh, worth it because it gives extra sustainability to the uh, zealous a nice nice harassment coming using the four phoenix and three oracles by hero picking off uh, 10 SCVs and yeah worker count 38 to 42 so it's not bad for the Terran but we have to remember the Protoss is uh, working with a gold base so there we go immediate lift ups I think Protoss uh, is going to wipe this army out and GG nice play from hero despite the um, early and mid game huge blunder